Today the church honors a nun by the name of St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. She wasn't always known by that name. Most people remember her as Edith Stein, a Jewish woman and a German philosopher. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and I have to say that I love the story of this brave woman. After getting a doctorate in philosophy in 1916, Edith's search for truth led her to the autobiography of the great Carmelite mystic, St. Teresa of Avila. Subsequently, she became a Catholic in 1922 and continued her career as a philosophy professor until 1933 when the Nazis came to power in Germany and she, because of her Jewish ancestry, was fired. This freed her to follow a dream she had, to become a Carmelite nun like Teresa of Avila. As the Nazi threat increased, she was sent to the Carmelites in Holland. But in 1942, after the Dutch bishops condemned the Nazis for deporting Jews to concentration camps, all Jews in that country were rounded up. Her community arranged for her to flee to Switzerland. But before she could leave, on August 2nd, the Gestapo arrested her and sent her to Auschwitz. Within a week, she was gassed and her body burned. Edith Stein chose her religious name out of love for Teresa of Avila and love for the cross of Jesus. The cross was not only part of her name, but her life. The next time you make the sign of the cross, remember the love of Jesus crucified and unite your day, especially any sufferings, to the cross that St. Teresa Benedicta loved and which saved the world.